If you're a big fan of the Netflix series Queen's Gambit or you simply love playing chess, well, I have the cake for you. Hi guys, I'm Cynthia Bear from CynthiaBearBakes.com and today we'll be making this edible chess cake that you can play with and eat afterwards. Now let's get decorating! So I have already baked my chocolate cake in a 12 by 12 inch pan. I will link into the description box below the recipe for this chocolate cake. I trimmed the dome top of the cake and placed it upside down on my cake board so we will have an even surface for our chess board. Then I covered the entire chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream frosting. Try your best to smooth out the frosting so our chess board will look even later. Then chill your cake for a little bit until the frosting firms up. While the cake is chilling, I assembled my chocolate chess pieces. Here I am using a chess set mold and I will link the product in the description below so you'll know where to get one. You can either use dark chocolate or candy melts for your chess pieces. Here I am using a black colored candy melt. Then I used a piping bag to pipe the chocolate melt carefully inside the mold. Then we're gonna run a toothpick through every piece to make sure that all the corner is filled with chocolate. This will also help even out the chocolate and get rid of some air bubbles that are trapped in. Then we're just gonna chill the chocolate chest pieces in the fridge to firm up. We're gonna start piping the chocolate melt to the square molds for the chessboard tiles. We will use the same technique like before with a toothpick, then chill it for 10 minutes to firm up. After the chocolate has firmed up, they should be really easy to take out of the mold. To assemble the chess pieces, just add melted chocolate in the center of the chess piece and stick it together or you can heat up a pan and melt the flat part of the molded piece and stick the pieces together just like what I'm doing here. Before we move on to the next step, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Now back to decorating. After we completed all the pieces for the set of dark brown or black chess pieces, we are ready to put together the white pieces. I showed you how to use a piping bag on the dark chess pieces, but you can always use a microwave safe plastic squirt bottle as well. Just simply put your candy melts in and pop it in the microwave. You can either use white chocolate for this process or some white candy melts. After sticking the two pieces together to create a chess piece, you can always use a sharp knife to trim off the extra chocolate hanging on the sides. Okay, now time to assemble our chessboard cake. The chocolate buttercream frosting has firmed up so it's gonna be easy and clean to assemble the tiles. We will need 32 white tiles and 32 black tiles to complete the board. Alternate the colors and gently press the chocolate tiles on the cake. Mm -hmm. 
After we have assembled the tiles, we're gonna pipe more chocolate frostings on the sides of the cake to make it look a little fancy and cleaner. I simply used the leftover chocolate buttercream frosting and I used a close star tip to pipe the rest of the chocolate. Now that our chess cake is done and it looks amazing, just like a real chess board, we are ready to assemble the pieces. And since I am going for the Queen's Gambit theme here, I will be making the medicine that she takes to help her concentrate when playing chess. I colored my modeling chocolate light green and dark green for the medicine. I combined dark blue, green, and a little bit of black food gel to achieve the dark green color of the medicine. So I simply rolled out the chocolate, cut it in half, and I stick the light green modeling chocolate to the dark green modeling chocolate. It's that simple. Now doesn't that look amazing? It looks like a real chess set, but the best part is it's 100% edible. So that's it for our awesome chess board cake. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss my next videos. See you next time!